when you <coughs> will give your next like um, there will be high seasons in America on the political scene. Now there is this famous quote from the movie Easy Rider where then Jack Nicholson says, you know this used to be a hell of a good country, I can't understand what's gone wrong with that. And the party of Lincoln, the GOP, is now the party of Mr. Trump, Mr. Cruz, Mr. Rubio, Mr. whatever. What went wrong with the United States of America? I think the United States doesn't have a, a particular corner on bad politicians. I think bad politicians are available in most locations at the moment. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I'm not going to feel it just personally. It's not just our problem. But it used to be the city on the hill, according to the American self-image. Yeah, but I think a lot of, you know, in the golden era, you know, what is the golden era of American politics, the, the Vietnam War? You know, I mean, every, wherever you look, we've done horrifying things that then, of course, become the karma that comes home to roost. You know, I mean, the, 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 the bad karma was built in when certain incorrect actions were taken. And, and yes, of course you pay the price for that. You, none of this comes for free. You know, and so, so for me, it's, it's not a suddenly that we're in some bad time. It's like, of course, this has been prepared, and this is the result of a series of disastrous and short-term uh, actions, which uh, have really bad long-term consequences. Um, the, other, the other thing, very simply, uh, is when the Republicans came into power 30 years ago, in the Reagan Revolution, um, we didn't stop them. And they immediately attacked education. And the mission has been to make education inaccessible to the largest part of the population, to make basic elementary education inadequate, to make the school system relate to the prison system, and to lower both the standards and the idealism of the entire educational enterprise. So that, like any fascist country, we now are teaching to standardize tests, tests rather than... Open up. Well, you know, a paragraph of Tolstoy is meant for your creative input, not for you to answer three multiple choice questions correctly. You know, a paragraph of Tolstoy is inviting you to be a creative person, is inviting you to imagine another world. And all of that activity, which is not about giving back the correct answer that someone else has already thought of, but actually giving an answer that nobody has ever given ever before, which is, of course, the entire point. We have shut down creativity in education in my country. And the result is you have an underinformed public which is easily frightened and easily manipulated. And so, of course, the results are, are in front of you. Um, now, the, the, the work is also in front of you. What is the work? I, you know, it's not a question of blaming anybody. It's not a question, you know, everybody's at fault because we all let it happen. And so, okay, now we all have to put our shoulders to the wheel and figure out how we move forward with this. And, and again, we need positive energy for that, not negative energy. It's too late to fall into the trap of the Republicans and demonize everyone, complain, and point fingers. And it's actually completely inappropriate. We all share the same responsibility for the situation we're in. So we all have to move out of it, positively and stop fighting each other and calling each other horrible names and do something that makes a real difference and that moves everyone to the next place with the core of what is you know, the core of civil society which is respect for each other ability to treat each other with decency ability to find something admirable in your worst enemy, 
what nobility really means, which is to stop complaining in difficult times, and have more stature, and have more honor, and represent your own highest ideal of what human dignity would be. So please, this is the time. <laughs> Don't wait.